Hi, I'm Melissa Muir. Welcome back to another video in our Fordham series. In this video, I'm going to show you how to change the collet in the number 1060 brushless micro motor. Now there's a number of reasons that you'll want to change your collet and it's so that you can use various size mandrels on different attachments. So let's take a look now. When you get your micro motor, it will have a couple of different tools and attachments included. A couple things that you're going to have are these two wrenches, and these two are going to be used in conjunction with each other to replace this collet. You will also have a 1 8 inch collet and a blank mandrel. Installed in your handpiece is going to be a 3 30 second collet as well as that blank mandrel. Now you always want to leave a blank mandrel or some other attachment inside of this when you are not using this. That is because these collets go under pressure and you can easily damage or crush those collets. So it's a good practice to always leave something inside of your handpiece. Now we have a couple of different options here on this handpiece. There are two dots on this little silver ring here and it's either going to line up with locked in between or it will be unlocked. When it's unlocked is when you are able to remove this mandrel and install any other mandrels that you want to have in there. Now this in between state allows you to basically lock the collet and the mechanism entirely. This is going to be handy if you happen to have like a screw mandrel. You can lock this into place and it's not going to move around and you'll be able to unscrew it, replace whatever else you need to do and retighten that screw. So that's kind of an option that's very handy in there. And now locked is going to allow your mandrel to spin freely but yet not be pulled out. Now sometimes I have 1 8 inch mandrels on a piece or I might have the 3 30 seconds. And I know they don't look that different here on the video, but believe me, they are different. And the 1 8 inch is something that's going to be common if you use any of the Dremel attachments. But there's a lot of different accessories that are also available for flex shafts or whatever else that you can get in the 1 8 inch mandrel. So what we want to do is swap out the collet so that I'm able to use these 1 8 inch mandrels. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to start with the handpiece in the locked position. Inside of our spindle here, we can actually see that there are a couple of flat spots. And that is going to allow me to insert this wrench onto this. And you might have to kind of manipulate it so that it slides into place. Once that is into place, I am then going to switch my handpiece to the unlocked position. And this is going to allow me to freely remove this spindle. With our wrench holding the spindle into place, I'm going to take the smaller wrench and there's a triangular insert onto that. I'm going to use that and spin this counterclockwise and it can be kind of fiddly as you can see. Spin that counterclockwise until I can get a hold of that mandrel or call it and then I can begin to twist it. Now once I have it out a little bit, I can remove that mandrel and continue to untwist this in a counterclockwise fashion until the mandrel or until my collet comes out. Now I always like to leave a mandrel inside of my collet and that's just going to help protect it and keep it from getting crushed. Next, I'm going to replace it with the 1 8 inch collet and we'll do the opposite and now I'm going to twist this clockwise to tighten this up. And once we get it down, I'm going to use that same little wrench to tighten this up. You don't want to get it too tight because you want to be able to freely remove and insert this mandrel. Once you have that all in place, then you can remove your wrench. You're going to lock your hand piece and you can test by pulling on that mandrel. It should not come out. However, it should spin freely. So as you can see, it's very simple to do and it doesn't take much time at all. But it is important that you follow the directions exactly and it's also extremely important that you make certain that you leave a mandrel inside of that collet at all times when you're switching this out or when you're just storing it. Now there's another benefit to swapping out this collet to the 1 8 inch collet. Let's take a look at that now. 
Now that I have the 1 8 inch collet inserted into this, I can easily swap between 1 8 inch items or accessories. And that's great, but what if I want to use my 3 32nd inch items? Well, that is going to require me to do one of two things. Either I can go back in and replace my collet for the 3 32nd inch, or I can use a very inexpensive attachment onto some of my 3 32nd inch mandrels. This is called a 3 32nd inch to 1 8 inch collet adapter. And what you do is you simply slide this onto the mandrel of a 3 32nd inch accessory. Then I'm going to insert both the mandrel and the collet adapter into my new collet of the 1 8 inch. And now I can lock this into place. You'll notice that it's locked here it spins freely and we're ready to go. To swap this out, there's a couple things I need to be aware of. Sometimes when I pull out my mandrel, it will also pull out the collet adapter, but sometimes the collet adapter will stay. So just be aware of that when that comes into play. Then I can take any other item with a 3 32nd inch mandrel and insert that, lock it into place, and again, it's locked, it spins freely, and we're ready to go. In order for me to go back to a 1 8 inch item, I'm going to remove the item that has a 3 32nd inch. I'm going to remove that collet adapter if it didn't come out with my mandrel already. And now I'm ready to insert something with a 1 8 inch mandrel, lock my machine. Again, spins freely, it's locked into place, and we're ready to go. Now in my studio, I like to leave the 1 8 inch collet installed in my handpiece. And the reason for that is because with that simple little adapter, I can easily swap back and forth between the 3 32nd and the 1 8 inch. It makes sense to have as large a collet as you possibly can have, and then just use those collet adapters to bring you down into that smaller range. Now there's a number of different collet adapters. Just be sure you check out the Fordham website to see which ones are available and might suit your needs.